Hey everyone, welcome back to Harl's Garage. If you're new to the channel, this is Project Quill, my E21 BMW rally car build. My buddy Andrew, who's been on the channel numerous times before, recently started his off-road and motorsport company, Porcupine Off-Road. Project Quill here is a joint effort in getting our hands into the world of rally, as well as doing something a bit more unique with a now classic BMW. In the last episode, I mentioned that I had plenty to do before we could rally this car. One of the biggest hurdles is tackling these rusted out floors. While these look pretty bad, the floor pans can be welded and patched together. Luckily, I've already ordered replacement panels for the floor, so those will be welded in soon. But first, in order to inspect the remaining bits of the car, today I'm going to remove the US spec front and rear bumpers so I can see what rust might lie underneath. To remove the front bumper, you will need a 13mm socket to remove the four 13mm nuts that hold the impact bars in place. On each side, there are also two 10mm nuts holding the side rubber trim in place. With all those removed, you can slide the assembly out. I forgot I had my fog lights still connected. They're broken anyway, so I opted to just cut the wires. Next, there's a rubber trim piece that needs to be removed. It's held together with some Phillips head screws. Finally, to remove the front bumper shocks, you'll need to unbolt the two 17mm nuts holding them in place inside the engine bay. Next, remove the 13mm nut holding the clamp in place behind the valence and the impact bars should be able to come out with a little encouragement. With the front removed, it's time to remove the rear bumper. I started by removing the two 22mm bolts holding the rear impact bars in. Next, similar to the front, I loosen the 13mm clamps that also hold the impact bars in place. Finally, on each side, there are 10mm nuts that hold the rubber trim pieces to the body. These can be a little bit more difficult to remove because of the rust and dirt present underneath. Much like the front, you can now remove the entire bumper assembly. The remaining rubber trim unbolts from inside the trunk. With the bumpers removed, I can see that there's a bit of extra rust and bodywork underneath that will need to be addressed, but nothing that's not fixable. Next, I wanted to move into the BMW's cab to address the sound detonating and rust. Off camera, I started to remove some of the sound detonating on the transmission tunnel. 
I discovered that over time, moisture collected and created rust underneath. To remove the remaining mess on the transmission tunnel, I needed to remove the heater core. In order to remove the heater core, I needed to remove the dashboard. Removing the dash consists of unbolting a bunch of various size bolts underneath. It then just slides out. You can see here that my dash is extremely cracked, which is common for these old BMWs. I'll attempt to repair that in a future video. With the dash removed, I can then remove the heater core and blower motor assembly. I first started by draining out the remaining fluid out of the core. After it's drained, there are two 9mm bolts holding the assembly together. Once the core was removed, I finally had access to the rest of the transmission tunnel. Now, removing the tar paper takes a bit of work. One of the common methods is to use dry ice to freeze and chip off the tar back full insulation. However, dry ice isn't readily available in my area and it can get really expensive. I'm also working it in an enclosed space for an extended period of time, so I opted to use adhesive remover and scrape away the insulation. I then took various wire wheels to remove the rust underneath. That's going to be it for this video. With all the tar insulation removed, I'm now ready to tackle the remaining rust on the inside of the car. In the next episode, Andrew will be welding up the floor pans as well as fixing the rusted out trunk. So if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our rally car build.